What's going on DK Team Aquascape? I'm at Aqualand here in the Aqua Gardens. It's pandemonium time. Which means it's time to do a little freshening up here in the Aqua Gardens. We've got some awesome plan for you. We are going to go over the top. It's going to be super excited. You guys are coming along for the ride with me. But first, I got to make room for the new. So that means the old's got to go. It's demo time, baby. Let's rock and roll. Build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. So Cameron and Luis are working on getting all the fish out of here. Our retail store is actually working on a program that they're going to put on for the next two days called the Fish Rescue Program. We've got about 100 koi and goldfish that are in here. So we've reached out to, to some great customers that were wanting new fish. And we're going to do a little give back with letting them come out and pick out their fish to put in their feature. Give these guys a new home to swim in. And in the meantime, we're going to demo and have a lot of fun. So stay tuned. See the deck's already out. Rudy, Cam, and I are getting ready to start pulling out this pond. Cam's already gone through, pulled out all the cobbles. We have a few more to add to it. We're gonna start plucking out rocks and get all these big boulders out of here. And by this afternoon, this will be a whole new landscape. give you some tips and tricks it's been a while since we've done that thought this was a great opportunity to maybe throw a few out there especially when it comes to pond demo one of the things that we like to do is we like to come in and try to get all the hand sized cobbles and stuff out it just makes it easier to get to the bigger racks when we are doing a pond demo one of the great little tricks that we use is we have a bunch of these Gaylord containers got them from Uline don't know what they cost four or five hundred bucks a piece probably but the nice thing about them is they'll hold about a ton ton and a half yard of material roughly we use them from gravel sand you, know, you can see some of them stacked up over there against the driveway but the nice thing that i've found on demo is especially some of these small to medium sized boulders that are harder to stack on pallets you know ideally we like to pick them off stack them on pallets so that it's easy to move them around reload them use them on future projects being that we're in the aqua gardens i kind of have the ability to utilize everything that we have here in the yard i'm going to put the gravel in there. We'll use that for future backfill material. I'm going to put cobbles. Udi's already moved a couple cobble bin way over there. So I got Cameron working on getting us a couple more. We're going to start pulling some of that gravel out of the bottom so that we can fill in the pond so that I can get up into the stream. We've got to cut down the tree obviously. But just wanted to throw that tip and trick out there that these Gaylords come in super handy especially in demo. But we are going to get all this stuff cleaned up real quick. Get all this gravel scooped out of there and that way we can pull the liner out we can get the skimmer the vault we we'll pull this liner back bring in a little bit of dirt backfill so that i can sit where my bucket is and i can reach all of that stream area up there after we get this tree out Cut the plumbing and dug out the skimmer. We got the vault out already. We got the liner pulled out of the pond. We got some backfill in here so we can get in further. We got the liner pulled up. We got 90% of this string tore out. We're gonna go in after this back stream, get it all pulled apart, and then take down this birch tree. I know I keep talking about that, but we're gonna take that out after that. And then come in here and just level everything so it's a blank slate for tomorrow so we can start excavating for the new future that's going in here.
going on guys? This aqua garden's been completely transformed and we haven't really begun yet, but we got everything leveled. Pond's gone, stream's gone, but we got the pond professor, man, the myth, the legend with us. Uh, what do you think? I think this is gonna be an incredible transformation. I'm excited uh, about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Ripped out everything, got a good clean slate now. Now next step is gonna be get our marking paint out, start setting some grades, get everything figured out, and we can start excavation. Awesome, let's do it. I'm ready. Been a successful couple days. Demo is about 98% done. We got a couple trees that we decided uh, late yesterday that are gonna have to come down just to allow us a little bit more flexibility with our access. So we're gonna take this cherry out, that L mount, kind of open things up, get rid of that stump. The silver maple that was behind me and the birch, I know I kept talking about it. Those are finally gone. Dug out the stumps, got everything leveled off, got everything marked out so we can start our excavation. Still can't tell you what we're doing because Brian's gonna go through that with you on the next video video super awesome but we're gonna take you along the ride for the rest of what we're doing on this project to prep everything so cam and i are just rocking and rolling we're waiting on ed to confirm some elevations and then we're gonna start excavating a pretty massive excavation plot in here for what we're gonna be building so luckily you guys get to come with us on all the fun we're excited we hope you're excited so let's get to work let's rock and roll so another tip and trick is always plan for great access when you can obviously we've got some flexibility because we can make the decision or actually Brian made the decision that we could take out some of these trees which really opened up our access in we removed three fence panels so that was huge for us we got everything leveled off out there got a good lay down yard area which is also very important when we demoed everything we had a place to put all of the boulders and I'm gonna walk you out there real quick because it is crazy absolutely crazy the amount of cobbles gravel and boulders that came out of what seemed Seem to be a medium sized pond feature. I know last night when I was walking out, just happened to count. I think there's nine Gaylords of cobbles, gravel, medium sized boulders. And I don't even know how many pallets because I didn't count, but I'd say there's well over 20 plus out here. So well over a semi load of rock, probably semi load and a half came out of that feature in back. And now they're palletized and ready for whatever we end up deciding to use them for in the next life for a water feature. But that really helped us having this lay down yard out here so that we could easily remove stuff, keep working, keep the flow going. So that's very, very important. Another tip, always be planning for that. And then again, these Gaylords are an absolute game changer they're very durable you can move them with a skid steer a bigger size mini skid steer and uh, it definitely helped us out a bunch uh, making good time on the demo so we're also doing double duty we got to build a berm down through here for pandemonium for the waterfall competition so it's actually working out because we're able to bring the dirt out as we're excavating leveling things off and build this berm so we're ready for pond
guys, as you can see, we've got all the, this side of the excavation dug from last week. We got a bunch of rain over the weekend, so we had to pump this out. So that took part of the morning. One of the things we've been working on now is we built a temporary wall. We braced the pergola structure, built a little old school ingenuity right there so that we can jack this corner up. This post has to come out for all of this area to get excavated. I've actually got to dig a trench out to about here for part of the structures so that's got to go in for here so Luis and I are working on bracing this up we're gonna pop this post out get all that buttoned up and then mark out what we got to dig here so that we can carry this excavation over to that point and then we can turn around and start digging out all this section going out towards the skid steer but we can start construction and Brian can show you what it is that uh, this is gonna be we're super excited it's gonna be a fun project and we're ready to get to work the main excavation for the pond has been completed. This is five and a half feet below grade. This will get eight to 12 inches of crushed stone along the entire bottom. This is gonna allow for drainage basically underneath the liner system. We will have a footing going around the outside perimeter and I will show you how we're gonna do that little detail once we get to that point. But our next step is to dig the area for the sump pit in the far corner. That's gonna be two feet below the current grade. And then we're gonna put in another secondary trench going in to pick up any of that excess water. That trench will then be filled in with crushed stone to allow all that water to go into the sump for easy removal. more groundwater seep. We luckily dug a trench yesterday afternoon. We've got a pipe that Ed picked up last night. We're gonna put in this morning down at that end where you can see the hose popping up in the corner. That's gonna be our sump pit. So luckily it's good to see that everything is working as intended so that we don't have any future groundwater issues bubbling up the liner or filling the patio. So it'd be nice that we have a home run to get rid of all that water and then we'll pump it out down on that corner. One of the things that you definitely got to keep in mind on these larger scale projects is logistics, your lay down yard, your dirt management of all your spoiled dirt coming out of this hole. As you can see, that pile out there is pretty massive. We had a good amount of dirt out there already, but we have literally built that up probably four feet from parking lot height. Not all that dirt came out of here, but probably a good third of it. the unload went successful got it down on the ground back on the dunnage supports and we'll be ready to set this thing later today or tomorrow so stay tuned everybody at the pond professor here coming to you from behind aqualand we just got in our sub liner drainage system as well as sub patio drainage system anytime we're going down below grade more than a couple feet we're over five and a half feet below grade and we have high groundwater there is an existing wooded wetland on the back side of our property we can't touch that so that means we have high groundwater naturally in the area i also remember back in around 2005 or so during construction of this building we had to change some of those columns in inside of the building because of this groundwater issue. So we knew it was gonna happen going into this, but I'm always thinking that every single project. So what we did, we got our grade down approximately to the level we were looking for. Then we started coming in with our deep trenches. We also put in this vertical column over in the corner. That is a 15 inch double wall corrugated polyethylene pipe. It's gonna resist the compression of all that gravel and stuff around it. What we did, we dug that a foot below the lowest trench in the entire system. So that means 
all the water is going to have to drain into that lowest point. We put that in place, then we come in with our geotextile material. This is a non-woven geotextile, very tough, very durable. What it does is it spreads the weight out along the bottom of the system. So now we get rid of our pressure points. You can see where we've been driving in and out of here. You're getting some ruts and things. Not a lot, but this is clay and it's wet clay on top of that. So you get pressure points, cracks from wheels and things like that. As soon as you put that fabric down, now it spreads that weight out over a bigger area. The key is we have a deep channel going in here, put the fabric in place, we put in our drainage pipe. Then we came in with that three inch gravel on top and it pulled all that fabric down inside. Then what we did was we pulled it taut going back to that back wall. Now we have the fabric under tension. So as soon as you put that under tension, again, that's gonna help to spread the weight out. And when we're talking about putting loads, load bearing walls, structural walls and things like that, we wanna have everything as tight as possible because that's gonna ensure that these walls are gonna last decades to come. And that's what we're looking for on this incredible brand new recreational pond at Aqua. Footing dug for our precast panel. It's gonna go in. The guys are laying in some geotextile fabric. I've got some three inch up rock in the bucket. We're gonna bed it with a foot of gravel and then set our panel. What's going on guys? It's another morning out here in the aqua gardens. We got Ed, we got Brian, we got Elias, we got Zach up there. We are working on the under drainage prep work for this project. We'll hopefully have most of that wrapped up today. We're gonna take this ramp out that I'm standing on. We're gonna rock all of the pond area with a foot of gravel for bedding. So we're rocking and rolling. We've run you through the demo. We've run you through some of the tips and tricks on that. We've run you through the excavation. The biggest thing that I can say when excavating is plan your dig. Lay it out, make sure you're square, guide all your lines, offset any of your reference points, but then start in your hardest spot and work your way out because a project this size, it is all about dirt management. It's not like you can just come in here and stockpile, stockpile, stockpile. You've got to dig in sections. So you basically almost grid this project out and you excavate a section at a time. So that is one of the key pieces when working on a project this size. One of the coolest things is this precast panel that I'm sitting on. Brian will be walking you through what this is all about, what this project is all about in the next episode. We're super excited. Pondemonium's coming up. It's going to be probably the toughest next three weeks for us to get this project in the ground and done. Turnkey ready, doves flying as Brian said says that a day pandemonium starts. We're going to be taking you through the entire process. But with that, make sure you're coming back. Tell all your friends. Smash that subscribe button. Throw down some comments down below. Let us know what you're thinking so far. Maybe what your guesses are. What we've got going on here. And Brian will be letting you guys know real quick on what this awesome project's all about. I'll see you on the next one.